So how does one solve square root equations? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years now, and square root equations at first look intimidating, but once you understand the idea behind them, then solving them actually can be pretty straightforward, again, as long as you remember the steps. So here's an example of a square root equation. Suppose you have the square root of x minus 3 equals to 5. Now, in order to solve a square root equation, you want to double check two things. Number one, make sure that the square root is definitely by itself. And also, make sure that the, other, that the number on the other side is that of a positive number. Now, why is that important? Well, because a square root, if you notice, this is a positive square root. So a positive square root has to give you a positive number. If you have a positive square root and a negative number on the other side, that really makes no sense. So be sure that a square root is on the one side and that a positive number is on the other when it comes to a positive square root. Now, because it's a square root, you want to do the opposite operation. Now, what will cancel out a square root is if you square that side. But if you square this side, because it's an equation, you have to square that side. So what ends up happening is that the square and the square root cancel each other out, so you're left with x minus 3. Now, 5 squared is 25. So all of a sudden, your equation doesn't seem difficult anymore because all you have to do is get x by itself and solve for x. So basically, you just need to add 3 to both sides. So you'll have x equal to 28. Now, with all square root equations, it's always recommended that you check your answer but it's pretty easy to uh, figure out because the original equation, if you plug in 28, is 28 minus 3. See if that's equal to 5. And as you can tell, inside the square root is 25. And you know the square root of 25 is indeed 5. So once you solve the square root equation, definitely check it. I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's exactly how you solve a square root equation.